Yeah, track and field is where we begin on the Sportsmax Zone. On the 29th of August, we started discussing the saga between sprinter Taekwinda Tracy and technical leader of Team Jamaica to the Budapest World Championships, Maurice Wilson. Tracy was replaced in the men's 4x100 meters relay pool in the Hungarian capital last month, causing the infuriated athlete to lash out on social media. Here's a reminder of some of what he said. There has been a whole heap of bias and privileges people have been gotten, as a lot of people like to say, that a links get your places in a Jamaica. Right? And this right here so is a prime example because an athlete is not supposed to be on the team and he's here because his coach is the head coach of the team and when you also think about it right if they are going to say oh this person ran xyz time that's not a valid point you have julian ford kishi and thomas and you and blake who has run faster than him more than once right but unfortunately, they didn't make the team, but their coach isn't the national, the head coach, which him, Maurice Wilson, would like to have people think that he has nothing, with, nothing to do with the athlete being here. Yeah, Taekwenda Tracy, and we have the pleasure of being joined by the man himself in the Sportsmax studios, uh, Taekwenda Tracy, first of all. How are you doing? Um, I, I suspect it's, it's been a relatively tough few weeks for you, given everything that happened in Budapest. What's the frame of mind like a few weeks later? Uh, at the moment, I'm fine. Um, it, was, it was tough when I was in Budapest, to be honest. Um, I had days when it was like a bit too much and I would just go for a walk or go, go to the park in there in Budapest and just sit to myself and cry, honestly. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm better now. As, to be honest, as soon as I got home, <laughs> I actually felt better. Um, it's not past me as yet, but I'm, I'm better. What's the support been like around you, for you? From everywhere, to be honest. Um, a lot of support from people all over. Um, other athletes, especially people like Warren Weir, who has seen and has said quite his part. Um, but yeah, support has been great. Are you surprised at the, the level of support that you have gotten on this issue, um, especially on social media? I am not surprised about the social media aspect and I'm not even surprised about the athletes that who are current athletes running who haven't said anything, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I've... People have, people have come to me and said, listen, I was going to do X and my coach said, hey, leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Because you don't want to end up on the bad side, whoever bad side that is. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm OK. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you feel the need to be on this show today? And how, how enthusiastic are you about the next eight or ten minutes that you will spend here? Last week, I watched... Um, uh, Mr. Dennis, I was listening to what he was saying, which, to give credit to him, some, some of the things he said is, is, is correct. Especially when he said I was a bit premature about my actions. And, <laughs> and why I said, why I agree with him is I should have waited until after they ran the 4 by one before I said anything. Because um, went into a meeting with them on, on Monday, right? I think it was either Monday or Tuesday. I'm trying to get the dates as correct as possible. Mm -hmm. And they said, these are the five persons that are going to run. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. These are the five persons that are going and, to and run. And when you say they, you mean um, the Lennox, Lennox, Graham, who Lennox. was responsible for the men's 4 by one Yeah, it was just him. and I, uh, I'm not sure if there was another coach there. But I know Lennox was there. He's the head coach. Mm -hmm. And he called the, f the five names, excluding me and Michael Campbell, so everybody else that was there. I was sat in the meeting and I was puzzled in a sense. Mm. I mean, I didn't think our team was lacking where everybody couldn't run mm -hmm. if they wanted us to, or even six persons could have run if they wanted us to, yes. right? Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I, I didn't think our, our team was lacking in that, that department. And um, when I spoke, when I didn't say anything in that meeting. Throughout the day, I tried to get an audience with Mr. Lennox and Maurice, mm -hmm. being that he's the head coach and he's the coach at the relay. And 
I tried, tried, I tried until eventually we end up start talking till we end up in, our, in another room with some other people. I think this was on Tuesday. Some other coaches was there and they basically, because my thing is, you know, I was saying that, listen, man, everybody here saw me training. I don't know that I'm in, in a good shape. And for whatever reason, when they decide to say, oh, no, don't want to use Taekwondo Tracy, okay, fine. But who are you going to replace me with? Mm -hmm. You're going to replace me with somebody who, in my opinion, and as I said in the video, should not be here. Mm -hmm. And people can argue and think, and just as he would like to say, oh, based on the selection committee. Mm -hmm. So my question to, to them in that meeting, one of, one of the questions was that, is our selection committee that incompetent mm -hmm. where we have three other athletes Two that are far more experienced than Gosa could be right now in his career. And they are currently doing better than him. Mm -hmm. And he got selected over them. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons they said is because and, he made the finals. And, and those athletes that you are referencing, Johan Blake Johan and Blake, Julian, Julian Ford, who had gone sub-10, yes. subsequent to the national championship. Exactly. Yeah. Right? So if, if they were saying that, oh, they, because they want to use the, the best team and whatever, Fancy words. Mm -hmm. um, that was my question to them. Why didn't they choose the best team then? Because mm -hmm. this, this wouldn't evidently be the, be the best team if we're not going based off what happened at mm -hmm. trials. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to say stuff like that, that it's because he made the finals why they decided to choose him or because what, whatever he did at the World University Games, which yes. is still not above what Johan Blake and Julian Ford did, mm -hmm. going based off experience. That's why I didn't mention Kishian because yes. Kishian is relatively new, just like Yes. Right? Then they were saying that it's a different case. So I said, Rashid McDonald is here. Didn't mean to point him out like that, but I mean, they did decide to use him because of what he did. Mm -hmm. yes. So if you're going to do that, why not do it across the board? Why not? Why you never choose the right person? And I'm saying that this is an obvious act of action where you guys deliberately wanted him here. And that's why nobody knew about him being on the national team until we got to Budapest. I, w I just want to understand you correctly because you said you agreed with uh, Dennis Gordon that you spoke prematurely. Yes. So I, I, I am understanding by that that you are saying that if you yeah. did not speak, they would have gone ahead and done exactly what you were and, saying. And, and, but and, because and, you spoke out, exactly. they and decided I, and, not to. And I can prove that to you. Yes, go because ahead. Because I don't know if you remember the interview we did right after I did the interview with Spencer Darlington. Yeah. Right? From television. That to was Baker. two days before the relay. Yes. Do you remember him calling out the four? I have the video on my phone. I can't even play it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember him calling out the four that will run in the heats? Yes. And then Watson would replace Ghost in the finals. Okay. He said that. Mm -hmm. But then he also went along and lied again and said the team wasn't, nobody said to anything to him about the team until the night before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Those, those are some of the things that, I, I, that, I mean, if you're going to come forward and try to paint me as a bad person, yeah. do, it, do it the correct way. Let me ask you this. So one of the things that Dennis Gordon said when he was on this show last week is, is that Lennox Graham was to make a recommendation and then there was a three-member panel um, of which Maurice Wilson is only a member and that panel is to make the final decisions. Are the athletes aware, or were the athletes aware, were you aware that such a panel existed, or did you take it that what Maurice, that what Graham said in that initial meeting on the Monday mm -hmm. is what would ultimately stand? Oh, I never know that there is a panel where this thing goes to beyond um, Lennox and more than likely the head coach. Because, I mean, in terms of... Um, Authority, he's the head coach. I know they more than likely run things by him. Yes. But in terms of a panel of people. Which is why you were looking for him after the yeah, meeting. Which is with why I Gray. said, okay, I want to have a meeting with you and Maurice Wilson. Yes. Because I, I don't know about anybody else. I just know about him as the head coach mm -hmm. and this person. And I mean, it's obvious one of the main reasons I wanted him in the meetings because I know it's his athlete. Yes. And of course, he would like to say that whether he's athlete run or not, it, it matters not to him. But there are so many cases, if you check back, you can look at where people end up in places that they shouldn't be. Yes. I can give you a very recent example as last year. Before you get to that example, Taekwondo, let's hold it right there. <laughs> Just go to a break. And after the break, Taekwondo Tracy will tell us some of those instances. Stay with us. We'll be back.
Yeah, back on the Sports Mag Zone, we're speaking with Jamaican sprinter Taekwondo Tracy. We're dissecting what happened at the World Championships in Budapest, Hungary. Remember that relay saga, Taekwondo Tracy came out and voiced his concerns about the selection process, his exclusion from the relay pool after he finished fifth in the men's 100 meters at the national championships. And we're dissecting all of what went down before the break. Taekwondo was about to tell us instances where he feels particular athletes got on the team when maybe they should not have taekwondo yes so as i was saying before if if you guys would take into consideration the 200 meter last year at the commonwealth you would clearly see who ran the 200 meter for jamaica and then if you take into consideration the national trials the top eight that person that ran the 200 meter and you guys can do your research that person that ran the 200 meter in commonwealth did not even made the finals. How did he get selected over every single body that was in the finals to run at the Commonwealth? And Commonwealth does not have an age requirement, from my knowledge. Mm. Yeah. And, and just to be absolutely clear, you are speaking here of Kadrian Golson, who ran the 200 meters mm -hmm. at the Commonwealth Games last year. Um, Kadrian Golson is coached by Maurice Wilson, who was the technical leader of the team to mm -hmm. Budapest. Kadrian Golson did not make the 200 meter final at the national championships um, last year. Um, and when he went to the Commonwealth Games, he ran 21.19 in the first round, made it to the semi finals, and ran 21.13. Um, I think it was his best time, 20.74 was yes. his best time going in. Um, and then the fourth place finisher at the national championships, um, the late Maria Heslop, had gone 20.6 at the nationals. In fact, he ran 20.5 in his semi-final. Um, and so you are suggesting, Taekwondo, that maybe it was someone like a Heslop who should have gotten the opportunity to run at the Commonwealth Games last year. Yes, because a family member of him, that is how I actually knew about it. Because mm -hmm. I've, I've, I've been getting messages from different people. A family member of him messaged me after the video came out, but I didn't see it till like a week after because I had to turn notifications off my, my Facebook, <laughs> right? And I saw the, the message and I read it and he was saying that, you know, he was selected. This is what he was saying. This is not my words. He was, he was saying that he was selected and then um, somewhere down in, the, in, in getting to um, Commonwealth, he was removed from the team and somebody else ran, mm -hmm. right? Um, he said to me that he will get me in contact with his mother so his mother could actually give me a full lowdown of everything, but I haven't spoken to her as yet. Mm -hmm. But that is what he said. And if you look at the, the Commonwealth Games last year, it's obvious who ran. Mm -hmm. And it's obvious, it's obvious who had the better times. Mm -hmm. So it's not even about times, I guess. Yeah. I, I want to get your, your take on, on, on this, Taekwondo, because one of the things I've struggled with all summer is that I realize that there is a lack of understanding of the rules generally. And I, and I just wanted to get an idea of how deep your understanding of the rules go. Now, from my standpoint and looking at the letter of the law as laid down by the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, you are only guaranteed to be in the relay pool if you make the top four mm -hmm. at the nationals. You were fifth. Yeah. So just judging by that, th there was always the possibility that you may not make the relay pool. Did you have that understanding? I, honestly, no, to be honest. Um, I don't know if there is any form of um, conferences that is held by j to issue rules or there is something written where I could, fa where I could find that somewhere, but yeah. I don't know of it. I mean, if it's there, it's there, um, and as I said, I and I said it in the video. I didn't have a problem with being re re being replaced. Yes, it's who and how I'm being replaced. Yeah. Um, there wasn't really a conversation. I was just left out, yes. and that is one of the things that got me a bit upset because, as I said to, I think it was Spencer before, that they could have made me none the wiser, and said, "Hear what? We're running six persons, even though they have in their mind." that they're going to, going to run X, Or we'll Z. keep six persons we'll as part of the pool. Yes. Yeah. The day when they said it, they said we are running five persons. Yes. These are the five. The rest of you are just in case somebody get hurt. Yeah. Right? So 
for me, as I said, it wasn't. Of course, I felt that way about being replaced. I, tra yeah. I trained hard. Yeah. I tra listen, I trained a whole 12 months and two weeks because yeah. I started from last year, um, July. Well, no, August, 7th of August last year. And you have so, had injury setbacks and in I've recent had years, four so months. you have had to overcome for this a lot year, of... Yeah. For this year alone, I've had four months worth of injury. Yes. And I managed to do what I needed to do. As I said to him in that meeting, I managed to do what I needed to do to make sure I finished where I did at trials. And for you to come just remove me and put somebody who, even though I was running well, not my fault, he wasn't prepared enough to be able to run the three rounds, you can't just come and say, oh, you're going to change this person. And I tell people all the while, not everyone is the same. I prepare for championships. Yes. If you're going to come to me and say, oh, I saw him run at a meet after and he did X, Y, Z. I'm not preparing for a meet. Mm -hmm. I'm preparing to come and smash the championship. That is why I always do well at the championship. Yeah. Twice national champion, 2018, 2021. Yeah, and people can look back at my times at all the time. No matter what is going on before, I'm going to be ready for the championship because that is what I'm preparing for. That yeah. is what is going to get you on the team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So often, right, when, when these situations arise, we hear, and we're not always certain, but I've heard of a number of cases where coaches will say, let's do a runoff even at the championship. So, I have a story on that. Hopefully I have time. So, have time. a person from 2004, I, I, I would have to go back into the message. I can give you like a summary of what he said. He said in 2004, this is a quarter miler. He said he did a runoff. Mm -hmm. He finished, I think, fourth at the trials. Yes. And he ended up after doing a runoff with somebody that finished, I think, seventh or somewhere down there. So, he said, he did 2004 the, you yeah. sure you sure the person finished fourth at the trial i don't i don't i i, I, I would because have to look at the message third, but yes go i would have to look at the message <laughs> yeah. yeah and but he said that the per they did the runoff two separate times mm. one run in the morning and he ran in the evening they told him that hey you had the slower time and X, Y, Z. So, so who did they run off run with? So it was a time a trial. It was a time tr is a run off for who is going to run. Because remember, you're saying but, but it's a time about trial. It's, it's a time not a head to head run off. They didn't run against each other. They didn't run against each other. So this is what he said to me. But that's not uh, a the run messages. Off, yeah, that's a time Rich, trial. Rich, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Can't remember his name, but it's in my phone. So he said that the first person ran in the morning and he ran in the evening. Mm -hmm. And then he, they told him that, hey, you didn't. Um, Made at, the time. At, at the faster time, which in my opinion, that is stupid. You're going to do a runoff and you run with two athletes at two separate times. Yeah. You know, you need to know who is better. And at the end of the day, some people run better with company and some people run better with, with, without. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, do the maths. But, 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 but then but the he mirror, said, the, but then he said he met the guy that he did the runoff against, basically, or the time trial against. And the, the guy, when the guy told him the time he ran, he said the time was slower. <laughs> That's what I was about to say, because it sounds to me that if they separate the, the runs, yeah. it suggests to me that they don't want either athlete to know what the other athlete did. Mm -hmm. yeah, so, that sounds very so the, the suspicious. J3, the so, J3ers may well say, though, well, it was a different set of me, individuals. Will, if, if somebody's going to answer yeah. this, they're going to find some reason. Or just said they don't have any knowledge of that. Yeah. Mm. So at the end of the day, Get back to this. But nothing thing. like that was, was no, offered in your situation. That, nothing like that was offered. And he was, I heard Mr. Wilson said that he didn't think it would have made sense. To do and a runoff. Not his, not his exact words. He didn't think it would have made sense to do a runoff because um, it would have to be done on some Monday or something like that. And the, 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 um, If a runoff was offered, would you have taken it? 100%. Why? I had no doubt in myself that I would have won. Mm. Mm. That's how good a shape you felt you were in. That's how good my coach can tell you. And I mean, the more they watch me. But regardless of that, regardless of that, he was saying that he didn't think a runoff would make sense. Excuses. Because there is no way me and X couldn't go at the line on Monday or Tuesday or even Wednesday yes. and recover enough for a race on Friday. Mm -hmm. yes. What kind of athlete are we if we can't recover in two days after 100 meters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you're going to talk about a quarter mile running in that close, yes. I can understand that. Yes, but, but not a sprint, I, not a hundred meter. Not a hundred meter sprinter. Mm. Yeah. That is why our hundred meter finals is like a hour after the 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 the, 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 the semi. The so, semi. Or and a half or so, yeah. Uh, or and yeah, a half but close, or so. Yeah. So yeah. you saying that oh you don't think you would have clearly me clearly you're just saying that you didn't want to give nobody the the the, the, 
the clear grounds to say, yo, I trace the meeting. Let me ask you this one, because clearly you have said a lot um, from this incident started on your social media, you're here now on this channel. Are you not afraid of any type of even the possibility of victimization? I mean, it's probably happening already. So um, personally, I, I, I sit down and I did some thinking to myself, like literally to myself. The night before, Michael Campbell could attest to it. I didn't sleep. And I sat down and I, think, and I thought about it. And then one, one of the things that came to my mind was that even if this sinks Taekwondo Tracy, I can be sure that it will help other athletes in the future. And at the end of the day, this is not going to stop me. Um, I've, I've had a little flame burning inside of me for the longest while. Injury's been holding it down. I'm fine right now and they decide to pour some gas on this flame. So at the moment, I'm not just fighting for myself. I'm fighting for current athletes and future athletes because I remember you saying in an interview a couple of weeks ago where it was like two weeks ago where you said that person who had the qualifying standard didn't get selected for the team yes and person who qualified based on world ranking and persons who shouldn't be there in my opinion got brought on the team yes. and if you are if you as a selecting committee thinks that the person who couldn't make the qualifying standard and the person sh who should not be there had more had a, had a more had a st stand a higher chance of getting a medal for Jamaica, then as I said before, somebody is really incompetent mm. because you're obviously not doing a job properly. You're just doing a job to suit a certain person's heart. Yeah, mm. yeah. Taekwondo Tracy, it's been a pleasure having you on the Sports Mag Zone, and, and we wish you all the very best. Clearly, there is a lot to be sorted out with this issue. Um, and definitely from the standpoint of the Jamaica Athletics Administrative Association, still many questions to be answered, but I think um, you have started a conversation that needed to be start, that needed to start. And yeah, here we are helping to have that conversation. We take a break, we're back with more on the Sports Mag Zone.